Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Gabe with Indigo Software, genuine Microsoft software for less. In today's video, we're gonna show you guys how to remove an additional Windows Server 2022 domain controller from a domain. In the previous video, we showed you how to install an additional domain controller. You can watch that right up here. Now, before we roll into the video, if you guys are interested in purchasing Windows Server, RDS licenses, or a wide variety of other Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo Software. We'll put links in the description below. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so we're on server two. Uh, this is our second domain controller for the domain that we created for demo here, indigodomain.com. And to actually demote and start to remove this, we can start here in the server manager. And then first step is remove roles and features. So we have a removal uh, wizard here. It's just kind of the opposite of what we did last time. We can click next. Uh, we'll select server two. This is our controller we want to remove. And we're gonna remove Active Directory domain services. We'll remove the features along with it. We're gonna get this little pop-up message here. We need to demote the domain controller first. So we'll click demote this domain controller. That's gonna bring up a second wizard here. Uh, we'll click next on the first page. We're gonna click proceed with removal. This is the new administrator password. And so we're setting a new password here. And then finally, we're gonna hit demote on the next page. Now this will take a little bit of time here, so we'll skip ahead and we'll see you guys when it's done. All right, we have successfully demoted the Active Directory domain controller, and it's gonna restart automatically. So see you guys when that's done. All right, now we're gonna log in as administrator. All right, we're gonna go back to that remove roles and features wizard. So manage from the server manager, remove roles and features. And then again, we're gonna remove the uh, DNS server here and Active Directory do uh, Domain Services. Click Next. We'll click Next again. Now we get a confirmation page. And then I just check to restart the destination server automatically and I'll press Remove. All right, the restart has finished. I'm gonna log in once again as administrator. We can see that the removal succeeded on server 2.indigo domain. That's a server. Again, this is the controller we're trying to remove here. So we'll close out of this. And then we have one final step here. Sorry about the cat. We're gonna go to our file explorer. We're gonna click, right click on this PC and hit properties. All right, and then we're gonna click advanced system settings here to the right. We're gonna click to the left to computer name. And then here we're gonna hit change and more. And then here we're gonna just remove the primary DNS suffix of this computer. So just delete it and press okay. Click okay, click okay. Click close. And we'll just click through this. Now it looks like we're prompted for credentials here. We need permissions for this. This is gonna be the administrator sign in. And then we'll just press okay here. And again, we're gonna need a computer restart. So we'll click restart now. I'm gonna go out of server two and go back into server one, which is my original domain controller. And then here I'm just gonna double check that we have successfully removed this. So in tools, I'll go to active directory users and computers. And now underneath the domain controllers, we're only seeing server one. All right, guys, so that's gonna do it for today's video. If you found it helpful, we'd really appreciate a like, comment, subscribe, and share. And again, if you're interested in purchasing Windows Server, remote desktop services, and a wide variety of other Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo Software. We'll put the links in the description box below. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next video.